Hi folks, Chris Anderson with Mount Comfort RV. Today we're going to take a look at another used coach. This is a 2005 American Eagle 40 footer, 40V is the floor plan on this. It's a beautiful coach, it's in excellent, excellent condition. It's a little cold and blustery outside today. My head's getting cold, so we're going to go through the outside a little quicker than normal um, and then we'll, talk, we'll take a little more time and show you the inside. So. Um, Obviously, American Coach, beautiful full body paint. They built this paint facility somewhere in 2004, 2005 to do this. They were one of the first ones really pushing the full body paint and, and they do a wonderful, wonderful job of it. So um, you can see from the front, you've got the hung bus style mirrors up front, the one piece windshield. These, in 2005, these things were not common. Uh, side cameras, certainly not common in 2005. This is built um, on a Spartan chassis with a Liberty Bridge beam. Um, we can talk more about that. If you have questions on that, call me and we'll talk about that. But the big thing is um, you're gonna have outrageous storage um, and carrying capacities on this coach. Somebody's already upgraded this TV. It's still on the original pull-out tray that held a tube style TV, but obviously they put a nice flat panel in there. Nobody put beefier hinges on doors in American coach. You, know, you usually see those small little hinges not on there, they're extremely beefy. These doors are aircraft aluminum. All of the mechanicals for the door are enclosed inside, nothing exposed where it can get damaged. They shut nice, they're side swing doors. Um, RVers always, always, always want storage. Take a look at that. And then we'll come back one more compartment and you've got a large pull-out tray. There's actually two pull-out trays there. One goes out either side. Very clean coach, it came in very, very clean for us. The people that had this truly loved it. They, uh, they just wanted to upgrade to a new diesel, so that's what they did. All right, here's our battery tray. Even inside the battery compartment, it's clean. It's never clean inside the battery compartment, but this one is, so nice coach. All right, aluminum wheels, as you can see. Um, oh, let's talk about awnings a little bit. We have a Gerard awning on the slide out. So when this slide is open, right there above the Eagle emblem, when this slide is open, that awning comes out from the slide room. So you're not losing two feet of awning space because the, the slide out is, is encroaching into that space. The, the awning is actually on the slide, which is nice. More storage here uh, along with some spare parts. And then we look in here, This you can always tell a Spartan chassis because they put all the filters and everything right in one compartment where it's easy to get to. That's convenient. Of course, we have a 10 gallon gas and electric water heater. Moving right along. Some things to look at here. First of all, right up there. This is a big boy coach. This is the 400 horsepower. This is a Cummins and it is a side radiator coach, which means you can actually get to it in there. Um, when they do the radiators in the back, they're really not all that serviceable. You can't really get to them. Um, with this, you can actually access this uh, for some serviceability, so that's very, very nice. I apologize if the wind is coming through on the microphone. It is whipping around out here. All right, let's drop that back down. Right here, right here. 15,000 pounds of towing, unheard of, unheard of. It's rare nowadays, it was unheard of in 2005. Side radiator, okay. Now the nice part about the side radiator, the way the American coach did it, instead of sandwiching your radiators front to back where only your outside radiator gets go truly good cool, cool air, they, they stack them one on top of an, another. So your radiator's here, your oil cooler's here, your trans coolers here on top of each other, not sandwiched. That was a big thing for them um, and uh, just eliminates uh, overheating issues. Now, power cord reel, wonderful feature. Anybody that's ever on a nice blustery cold day like this, anybody that's ever wrestled a uh, 50 amp shore power cord will attest to you that the, the power reel, good thing. All right, here's our wet bay. Now, very clean, again, whole house water filtration system. We've got hot and cold water over here so you can wash up. There's a paper towel holder, soap dispenser. Obviously, you're, this is where you dump your tanks, but this is a heated and enclosed area. Very, very well insulated. There's a light out here. Moving on, here's that other pull-out tray. 
Here's the other half of that gargantuan storage. Come on now, wind. There we go. Sorry, I had to run in front of the camera. Wind's playing some tricks on us today. There's your propane bottle completely enclosed, not exposed to the elements, and that's why you got a 12-year-old coach here that the bottle's not all rusted up. I've seen two-year-old coaches that the bottle was all rusted up on. All right, dual fuel fill, fill from either side. Now, a couple things here. There's a nice light in here. You've actually got an air hook up here too, so if you need to inflate your tires or the kid's beach ball, um, you can actually hook into the coach's air system and do that. But here's one of my favorite features. Take the camera to the generator area of the coach. <laughs> we have a slide out generator. This is a 7500 diesel gen on a slide out tray. Now, one of the things that American Coach always pitched that I've never seen anybody else do is this. You can actually stand up here and clean your windshield. You can even stand on top of the generator and clean your windshield. I'm not gonna do that today. My luck, the wind will blow me right off of here. But I weigh about 220, uh, this, this thing will hold me. So you can stand right up there. All right, enough of that. I know what you want to see is the inside. I certainly want to show it because it's a heck of a lot warmer in there than it is out here. Let's go inside. Hi folks, we are inside of our 2005 American Eagle 40V. I'm going to try to show you as much as I can. It's nice and comfortable, nice and warm in here, so I don't mind taking my time in here. So let's get started. Let's start in the driver's seat. All right, very, very comfortable seat, I will tell you that, first and foremost. Um, nice things like adjustable pedals up here. Um, you know, most coaches have those, those semi-truck style pedals, and that's fine, um, but if you have a shorter driver, uh, these are much better, and, and certainly these are much more automotive, so they're, they're kind of what you're used to. I love the wood steering wheel. Um, I don't know why, there's just something about it. Um, it just feels better, so that's nice. This does have smart wheel as well, where my wiper controls, my cruise controls, flashing my hat, my bright lights, what have you. That is all controlled without ever taking your hand off the steering wheel. Power mirrors, heated mirrors, that control is right here. Um, Trip Tech, that's your little um, built-in computer. There's a little computer screen um, on the dash where you can kind of scroll through some different things like your tranny temperature and stuff like that. Uh, that that runs you through there. Of course, this has an engine brake. Um, it even has a high and low on the engine brake, which is nice. Allison, six-speed transmission. I'm not sure what this gizmo is, but I'll tell you what, if you buy this coach, I'll research it with you. Um, this is not factory. Uh, my first guess was a tire pressure monitoring system, and it still could be that. I have not been able to get it to come on as of yet. I may not be hitting the right switch. Oh, there's an extra switch there. Looky here. Oh, look at that. I honest to God just found this. There's a camera mounted inside here somewhere. That's so you, while you're driving, you can keep an eye on what's going on behind you. I don't know where that camera is, but it's, it's got to be somewhere up front here. Um, so you can watch. <laughs> there's our cameraman uh, in the shot. Um, you can watch what's going on behind you from the driver's seat. So yeah, heck, heck yeah, I'd use that to yell at the kids. So um, not a factory option, but kind of cool. So very, very nice. So it's not a tire pressure monitoring system. Um, we do, this coach does have backup camera and side cameras. Our generator's running right now and purrs like a kitten. Of course, you have a full uh, leveling, automatic leveling system on this coach. Um, 946 hours on that generator uh, and like I said runs great something I think American coach does better than anybody else in the industry um, and I've been I've been on some of our current manufacturers to really jump all over this is they did such beautiful woodwork and they brought it up into the dash most of these coach manufacturers do great woodwork but you get up in the dash area and they're plastic we have Corian and real wood and nice drawers look at that all up in the dash area here. I don't know of another manufacturer doing this. This is very, very sharp. Good place to set a drink, set your cell phone, that type of thing. Uh, so that's uh, that's a little bit about the cab area, but once again, extremely comfortable. Of course, they're power seats. Um, nice flat panel TV with surround sound. So that's nice. Oh, there's our little camera. Looky there, somebody, somebody added that. That's what uh, ties to that little guy right there. So neat. Okay, oh, wow, the wind is, is, is rolling. <laughs> We're actually, the coach is rocking. I should have put, put, put the jacks down. 
First thing you notice when you walk in this coach, there's no funky smells, there's been no smoke, um, I certainly don't smell any pets or anything, and there's no carpet in this coach hardly at all. I mean, you got a little bit on the slide and a little bit in the bedroom, and that is it. This is all nice tile and it's gorgeous. Um, it's overall in pretty good shape. I don't really see anything of any consequence. Is that a little bitty crack? No, that's just part of the tile. So yeah, tile's in great shape and looks good. Um, the previous owner had some customizations done here, but they were done very, very well. It's a nice custom job. This desk area here is something they were very, very proud of, and they said everybody in the campground loved the idea of this. Um, so you could use this with one, of, I wouldn't use this reclining chair for, for that, that's more of a TV watching chair, but you would want to use one of your dinette chairs. Um, sit here, and then you have a nice pull out here for your laptop, Gives you that kind of gives you the knee hole effect there. They even have a, a charger built in for the laptop to go there. Um, plenty of workspace if you want to have a printer or anything like that. They've obviously upgraded a lot of the lighting and everything in here. Looks really, really good. The shades are upgraded. This did not have pull down roller shades. This probably had day night shades in it from the factory. Uh, so, wonderful feature. That's a, a very modern thing. Um, and those are not cheap. Those run like 300 bucks a window installed. So, uh, somebody spent some bucks to keep this coach uh, up with the times. Notice your ceiling um, up here. This has got the reflective uh, tunnel that runs right down the middle. That looks so much better than your little round plastic discs, you know, the, uh, of, of air conditioning. These do have, these are the air returns here. These are the air outputs. Uh, does a very nice job. There's two roof air conditioners on this coach, so good to go there. Um, our sofa here does make into a bed. Dinette was also kind of a custom deal here as we turn around and look at that. There are two folding chairs back in the rear closet as well. This table is freestanding so you can pull it out in the middle of the room, play cards around it. And, and there's plenty of room to do that because this is a triple slide coach. So we have, we have two slides up front here so our, our space is big. Uh, it's kind of got a gymnasium effect going on here. All right, when you look at the cabinetry, it is, of course, all solid hardwood. You would expect that on an American Eagle. We've got lights inside the cabinets here. This. Is, is solid wood as well. So many times this is, is foam wrapped with vinyl paper um, or it's plastic or something other than just hardwood. Your styles here are also hardwood. In fact, everything in this coach, if it looks like wood, it is, and it's not wrapped, it's not particle board, it's, it's the real deal. We come back here, uh, this will give us a good shot, chance to get a shot of this. This coach had multiplex lighting. This would have been the early days of multiplex lighting. And what that is, there's a few of those panels located throughout the coach. There's one when you first come in at the entry door there and you press a button there and there's a button that says all lights. So it turns on all of the ceiling lights throughout the entire coach. I always liked that feature. You know, you come back to your coach, it's dark, um, it's quiet. You, know, you, you just wanna make sure everything's good when you walk in. You walk in, you hit all lights, you can see everything that's going on. Uh, the boogeyman's not gonna jump out and get you uh, with this coach, you, you light him up right away. Here's another update they did. Um, evidently, they didn't care for the um, gas stove. They actually put an induction stove in here. Um, this is one of those that take the uh, um, the pans that are metal pans. Well, they're all metal, I'm sorry. They're, they're magnetic pans, they're steel instead of aluminum. Um, and you cook right on there. Um, it's a one burner cooktop, but for most people, how, how many times do you hook up two and heat up two and three things at a time. Not very often. If you find you, you do want to do that, you can add a second um, induction cooktop to that. This is the, probably even still today, this is the best microwave convection oven on the market, the Advantium. If, if you look that up, it's, it's actually a very nice unit. They're expensive, but they're nice. Um, you kind of just dial this up. You, you pick what you're going to cook, you know, chicken, how, you know, breasts or thighs, okay. Um, how, how many pieces of it, two, okay. And, and basically it's very intuitive. It just flashes it up there on the screen and then you hit go. You don't have to say, I want to cook at 350 for 20 minutes. You tell it what you're cooking and, and it will determine how long it needs to be cooked. So nice, nice deal. It's in perfect shape. It's clean as can be. Uh, I don't remember, I used to sell these back in 05. I don't remember that shelf being there. Um, I think that's been added, which is nice. Um, I do remember the tile backsplash. It's all Corian, which is gorgeous. You have nice outlets, nice placement for the outlets in the wall itself, instead of them being up in the bottom of cabinets. Uh, they're, they're well placed. Your faucets here, I mean, this is not your typical, you know, $30 RV faucet. Somebody went all out there. I don't know if those are Moen or what, but I guarantee you they're a name brand. Um, and then, Look at your sink. It's gorgeous. It's large. Okay. These, the, you can always tell real Corian. It's heavy. These have some, have some heft to them. 
All right, come back here, nice little place right here. You can set the coffee pot, or if you buy it, I don't care what you set there. Set whatever you want there. All right, All right. as we come back through, we have the four-door refrigerator, re freezer with an ice maker. And everything is just clean. And that's the nice part, it, 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 it all looks good. Okay, let's come into the middle. All right, big open bathroom. Um, there's a pocket door. Well, let's back up just a little bit, sorry. There's a pocket door right here that pulls closed. That closes off this entire, we'll call it a bathroom suite. Then when you come in here, you'll see the shower. I'm gonna let you get in there, Tony. So it's got the seat, nice handheld shower head, nice places for the soap and the shampoo and all that stuff you people with hair use. You have a nice corner sink here, beautiful vanity. Lot, look at the storage, that's deep. It goes all the way back in there. There's another one here as well. And storage below. And then privately, we have a bathroom. Now, before I open the bathroom door, look at the bathroom door. You know, most RVs have a hollow core door that doesn't weigh five pounds, but this is a 40 pound door. And that is not hollow core, that's a solid door. I'll let the camera get in there. We have a second sink, separate vanity as well. All right, let's head back into the bedroom. We have a walk around queen bed, very small step up over here, but still fine. I'm about 5'10 and I've still got clearance. So unless you're over six feet tall, you probably have nothing to worry about there. Nice lighting in here, beautiful Toshiba TV in here. Okay, we have the all in one washer dryer unit. And then I love the closet. It's all cedar lined. I'll let him get in there and get a good shot of that. Lots of shelves. There's your two chairs down there as well. All right. Um, talk about this coach a little bit. Um, this one specifically, this has 98,000 miles and change on it, which is about you know normal for a coach of its age. Um, and if, if you're scared of that, you shouldn't be. Um, the whole reason people look at diesels is because uh, they'll go forever. You know, this is an engine and transmission and drivetrain that's good for 500,000 miles or more. Up to a million miles is not uncommon with this type of engine and transmission. Um, I should say not uncommon for them to last that long. It isn't uncommon that an RVer would drive them that much. So that's one thing that should put your mind at ease. They actually use the coach. It didn't sit somewhere. Um, with American Coach, everything they have is a one-piece fiberglass roof. And in fact, when I say one piece, it's more one piece than other one-piece roofs because they put that, that fiberglass roof on and it's like a roof cap. And then they actually get up there and they fiberglass it to the front cap and they fiberglass it to the rear cap. So it ends up being one roof, your, your front cap, your rear cap, and your um, roof are actually all one piece, which makes the chances for any significant type of leak or anything very, very low. You just have a couple seals to check up there where we, where we do vents and stuff, but really um, they, they, they kind of took away the possibilities of any significant leaks. Um, this coach doesn't have any leaks. It doesn't have any funky smells. There's no smoke in it. Uh, I think you'll like it. My name is Chris Anderson. Please don't forget to ask for me. Um, follow us. Um, you can click the like button down there if you like it. If you didn't like it, I guess you can click the unlike button, but that would be mean. Um, but other than that, please subscribe to our page. Follow us. You'll see whenever we do a new video. Thanks for watching. My name is Chris Anderson. I'm with Mount Comfort RV.